What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to make pixel art. Alright, so this is the cover art that I did a long time ago. Um, I think it's about 2-3 years old now, something like that. Uh, and I did these like small dragons here in the corner. And I actually did those in pixel art. And asked you guys on Instagram whether I should do a tutorial or not and basically everyone said yes. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm happy to do a tutorial, show you a quick little process video on how I did that. Uh, the reference that I used was, let me see, this dragon. And I'm not really sure who made this illustration, but I found this on dragonplanet.com. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the original, like, origin of the image. I don't think so, uh, but yeah, I couldn't really find the source. Anyways, we're going to copy this and put it into Illustrator. So the way I approached this was I went and made a grid into my Illustrator document. So I'm going to go to Edit, References guides and grid and i'm going to make a grid line every 100 pixels and i'm going to use subdivisions of 10. so when i press ctrl on the quote buttons uh, the grid will show up and basically what we're going to do is we're going to make squares and snap those to the grid and try to work with that so i'm going to scale this down so we have about two or three grids in height basically you can choose whatever you prefer but in my case i'm just going to go with this and i'm going to lower the opacity a little bit about 50% and I'm going to just lock it. So another thing that we want to do is we want to snap our squares that we're going to make to the grids because as you can see it doesn't do that yet. So I'm going to go to view, snap to grid and I'm going to make sure that snap to pixel is turned off. Okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a color palette and I'm going to make about five squares I think. Okay we're going to select the first square and uh, we're going to use the eyedropper tool, which we can, can access by pressing I on our keyboard. And we're going to just see if we can find a color that suits our color palette here. And uh, we're going to go from dark to light. And the last two will be highlights, so it's going to be a little bit lighter than it is here. Um, I'm just going to click on this one and I'm going to just modify it myself. And this one can be almost white, but like it should be something like this. Actually, I'm gonna go and create a mid tone here because I feel like there should be like one step in between those two. So I'm just gonna drag this a little bit more towards the yellow. So the dragon will be a little more gold instead of like yellow ish, I guess. Um, okay, this is fine for now. We can always recolor these later and I'll show you how to do it later. Um, anyways, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, this process will take a while. Uh, I'm going to try to do only the heads for now uh, because otherwise we will be sitting here for a very long time and that's not ideal, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to go and scale this up so that it fits within these squares here and I'm going to lower the opacity to 50% and I'm going to lock the image up. And basically what we're going to do now is we're going to go and select some squares. We're going to create some squares and we're going to recolor this like from scratch. So uh, I'll dive into it and I think I'm going to create a time lapse of this. And I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. So I did a couple of squares and I feel like it should be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to scale this up uh, like 200%. Um, so basically the dragon is now uh, six squares high in height instead of like three. And we're gonna lock it up and see if this works better. So the key, what you wanna do here is uh, I'm just gonna select squares and when I wanna duplicate one, I'm just gonna hold Alt and the arrow keys. And I'm gonna just find squares that I think will match up correctly with the color that I'm choosing. So as you can see here at the top, it's a little bit more like of a highlight. So I wanna leave those for the actual highlight pixels. And more towards the bottom here, there will come a, be a little bit more shadows. Uh, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna now do some highlights. So I'm gonna select both of these and we'll select a lighter color. And we're gonna drag these around as well. And I think here in the middle we can leave it for like a super light highlight color and 
I'm just gonna fast forward this because you kind of get the process now. Let me just drag one uh, towards here. And now I wanna make this a little bit darker. So I'm gonna select one of the other colors. And we can start dragging that one over everything as well. Okay, so we're a couple pixels in and what you can see already is maybe it's a little bit too big and again if you want more detail in your pixel art you can just scale this image up a little bit more uh, my document size is 2000 by 2000 pixels and the grid subdivisions i'll show them one more time it's 100 pixels in every grid line and 10 subdivisions uh, but as you can see if i remove this uh, background image here you can see that the pixel art is developing, but you can't really make out what it is yet. So I'm just going to continue this, uh, continue the time lapse, and I'll show you the end result in a bit. Right, um, so this took about, I think, maybe 20 minutes or something. Um, so yeah, doing a full dragon is quite time intensive. And as you can see, well, if we zoom out a little bit, because pixel art is always like a little bit smaller, you can kind of make it out. But so the more you'll add, the more uh, detail you'll get. Uh, and the more apparent it will be what you're drawing in pixel art. Uh, let me just drag in the end result so you guys can see how I made this a few years ago. Right, so as you can see here, this is uh, the one that I showed you in the beginning of the video um, and the one that I use for the slow body cover artwork. And as you can see, um, I went with a little bit more yellow here. Let's just uh, show them next to each other so you can see the difference a little bit. So yeah, as you can see, the colors are a little bit more dark here. And I feel like there's not enough contrast between these three colors in the first uh, thing that I showed you. Yeah, as you can see, the more you'll add to it, the more apparent it will be that it will become a dragon uh, or whatever you are drawing. And as you can probably also see, I use a little bit more detail here. So I think I used my guidance image and it was a little bit bigger than that. So yeah, it's about 11 uh, squares in height as this is six. So it's yeah, it's about double the size. So it's double the detail uh, because you can add more pixels into it. Uh, this is quite time intensive, but yeah, this is what you can do with it if you have the time for it. So a quick little uh, thing, if you want to re recolor this uh, easily, what you can do is you can select the darkest shade here. And we're going to recolor all of these. So what we're going to do is going to go to select up here and click on same and fill color. And let's make it a little bit darker like this, like a dark brown. Uh, we're going to do the same here. Click on select, same and fill color. And I'm going to darken this up a little bit like that. And same here. Uh, so yeah, this gives it a little bit more of a golden glow. And basically this gives you the opportunity to recolor your artworks after you've done them. Uh, what I would recommend is to make a shortcut under select, same and fill color. Uh, so you can just access that really easy if you have multiple colors you can let's say that you have 10 shades uh, it will make it quite a little bit easier to recolor all of those so yeah guys this is basically it uh, i want to thank you so much for watching if you want to get the project file for these these will be available for all patreons 
So yeah, quick little shout out to my Patreons here. Thank you for supporting the channel, supporting me and making me be able to make more videos for you guys. So if you become a patron, you'll get access to all of the project files for my tutorials, including a 15% discount in the Red Labs web store and a cool Discord role and an exclusive channel there. Uh, so if you want to become a patron, there's a link in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join us on Discord. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. This was Tom from Dread Labs tuning out. See you in the next video.